Hey everyone, Dave here, the NC Picker. How's it going? I am in my garage, ready to pull some eBay orders, which is what we do pretty much every day on the show. Well, every day that we release an episode. Uh, let me go to ebay.com. It's a website that I use. You may have heard of it. How's everyone doing? I'm doing okay. Google Chrome is not my default. Oh man, I have so many orders though. Oh, interesting. I got a message. Hold on. Messages. Oh, that's an old message. Okay. I made these, uh, these nachos. The world's best nachos. I made them on my uh, cooking channel once and I really liked them. So I made them again today for lunch. And uh, yeah, they're still really good. I'm a big fan of these nachos, but they made me like super full. Hey, I'm winning an auction right now. I put a bid on this Mighty Duck. Hold on, I'll show you. This, well, no, if I show you, you guys are gonna outbid me. Dang it, no, I'm not gonna show you. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I, I just, I eat so many nachos and cheese, and then I watched Men in Black. Listen, Men in Black is really cheesy, but it's still pretty good. But needless to say, I've had a bit of a slow start because, you know, I made my nachos for lunch, and then I watched, I started Men in Black while I was cooking, and then I, you know, wanted to finish it. So now it's, I don't even know what time it is. Two o'clock, and I haven't really started working today, which might be good, you know, every now and then it's good to slow down and take a little break because I worked really hard yesterday and oh man I was so tired yesterday I actually fell asleep sitting on the couch yesterday watching Men in Black 1. You know this doesn't sound good in retrospect I'm gonna explain it to you and you'll you'll understand you know why I'm saying I worked hard although all I'm talking about is watching different Men in Black movies. <laughs> Ah, uh, crap. Okay, let's pull our orders. First one is just on the DVD rack. It's called Summer's Bee. No, and it's like, okay, so here's the deal. My mom messaged me. My mom and her twin wanted to go yard sailing on Saturday. And so she messaged me on Friday and said, hey, what time are you leaving tomorrow? Now, I had looked like briefly, it was probably three in the afternoon, briefly, and I couldn't really see a lot of uh, yard sales that were happening. And I was like, well, I don't really know what time I'm leaving and I'm gonna be busy today, so I'm not sure when I'm gonna check. So why don't we just plan on leaving early and going to the flea market first thing? Summer's Bee on DVD sold. Where should I put it, right here? I've added a little bit of festiveness, guys. And I mean, I know you don't have a smell-o-vision, but my latest Scentsy flavor, Vanilla Caramel Spice, really does make it smell like fall in here. I should actually probably use the leaf one, right? For fall, I should use that one, but Whatever. It smells very, very uh, autumn-y. And then I got this little guy here. He's pretty cool. And then I got these at a yard sale. And I got these ones over here at a yard sale. Oh wait, look, I'll show it with the lights off. Although I can't really turn all the lights off. But, I mean, there's gotta be a way to turn. Oh, I could pull it. Oh well, that's good enough. But you see, look. Look at the little pumpkins. So festive. Uh, anyways, what was I talking about? Wait, oh yeah. Watching a bunch of Men in Black movies and calling it work. Summers be sold for five bucks plus shipping. I don't actually know that. I'm just assuming because that's my life. Yes, five dollars plus shipping. Um, but no, I I was very tired yesterday because I didn't have time to make a plan. And my mom goes to bed at like seven. Her and her sister, her twin sister, both go to bed at like seven at night. All right, this is Miss Bianca from the Rescuers Down Under, and it sold for five bucks as well. Right there, you can see it. So since I knew I probably wouldn't have time to look up my yard sales, map it all out, and then go and call my mom, I decided that I would just instead... Wait, what do I need here? Some McDonald's toys sold. Instead, I would just tell her, hey, you know what? Come over early, and we'll leave at like 6.20. And so that was the plan. Okay, so this sold. There's a buyer's note. Hey there, I also just purchased the McDonald's fries transformer. Please ship together. Thank you, Laura. Okay, will do, Laura. Let me see if I can find her two orders. Oh, Donna is the one who bought the uh, pin. Wait, Laura, let me see. I don't see another order by Laura. Let me try combining orders and see if it shows me. This is so silly, but I don't know how to bulk ship. I always do bulk shipping on eBay, but I do it by going to the little bell and it says, you know, how many shipped orders you have, but I accidentally cleared that notification. So I don't actually know how to go to my bulk shipping page. Huh. There's gotta be a way. I don't know how. I need to get another order, because then if I got another order, that thing would show up again, the notifications, and then I could ship. Oh well, hopefully I'll get one. I don't know, I don't know what the other, first of all, let's find the thing she ordered. Let's slow down, Dave. It's a McDonald's McDino Happy Meal toy, is it this one? 
Yeah, it's this. This is an old McDonald's toy Happy Meal. You remember these when you were a kid or when I was a kid? <laughs> I don't know if you were a kid or not. You could have been not born or you could have been an adult. But I was a kid in 1990. I was uh, eight years old. How do you open this one? Callie was playing with these. She really liked them. But anyways, they transformed into things. This one transforms into a dino. And the legs come out somehow, but I can't really figure out how. It looks like they turn. Oh yeah, there you go. So look, now it's a dino. Hold on, I'll show you. It's pretty cool. So these like are some of the few McDonald's toys that'll sell, although they're still not worth much. They sold for five bucks plus shipping. Something. And I like them. They bring back memories. Happy memories from my childhood. All right, so we sold that one for five bucks and then I don't see another order. Maybe she ordered something from someone else or maybe I'll find it as I go up the order list. Anyways, I told my mom, you know what? Let's just these back so I don't, I don't lose them. It's funny. Well, okay, she said, I also just purchased the fries. That is the fries. And it's a different last, I, I'm very confused because this next order is also a McDonald's toy, but it's a different person out of FL80. So I'm confused, but anyways. So I told my mom just come over and we'll leave it like 620. And so here's the thing. I was up at like 10.30 p.m. Still wasn't really able to find any yard sales. Like there was just no yard sales this weekend. It was crazy. And I'm sitting there just like, you know, bashing my head against the wall. Not really, not, you know, figuratively, not literally. And I'm just unable to find anything to go to. So this is the other McDonald's toy. So a different person bought this one. This one also turns into a dinosaur though. It's a milkshake. And this one sold for five bucks plus shipping. Again, different person. All right, I know what I'll do. What I'll do, my battery just died. This one's dead. And now this one that I just put in is also dead. So I'm gonna be changing batteries a lot this episode. But I said, okay, what I'll do is like 10.30. I couldn't find anything. I was getting tired. I was like, you know what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go to bed and I'll wake up extra early and I'll find yard sales in the morning that we can go to. So I got up at, I set my alarm at five, but I accidentally woke up earlier. Sometimes that just happens. I couldn't sleep. I think at like four o'clock I got up and I was like, what's the point of even going back to bed? I might as well stay up at this point. And so I started looking for yard sales. Still without much luck. FL73 is our next order. And uh, so I stayed up, you know, looked for yard sales. She got there at six, I think 610-ish. And you know, we went out yard sailing, but we decided to start at the flea market. Uh, this sold as well. Mini metals, classic uh, car. I do not remember buying that. I don't know where it came from. Tina must have listed it. Uh, $5 plus shipping is what I sold for. I guess that's something. I want to talk about pins too, and we'll talk about that in a minute. Anyway, so I just got up too early. Went yard sailing, went to the flea market, had a really long day doing that. Got home at like 12, 15, 12, 30, FL 85, and immediately said, hey, I want a list. And so I decided to list everything I had bought. Where's FL85 over here? I wanted to list everything I had bought on Saturday because I'm going out of town uh, to North Carolina and I just wanted to get ahead of the game. And I didn't edit. A lot of times I'll edit on Saturday afternoons, but I was like, instead of editing, I'm gonna, you know, list. And so me and Tina listed next to each other. She had started while I was uh, yard sailing and she had a very productive day. I think she said she listed like 50 items yesterday which is really nice. Um, I ended up listing about 30. So we ended up listing almost 80 items yesterday. And as you may have come to expect, when I list that much, a lot of stuff sells. So we do have a lot of orders. We have 40 items that sold today, which hopefully we can get through them all and not have this be too long of an episode, but maybe I should split it up into two. I don't know. Hey, Dave editing, consider that. <laughs> we can do like one day after each other or something if it's too long. I don't know though, I don't know. I don't really like doing that. Uh, anyway, so this Popeye pin sold. This is uh, Popeye the Sailor Man. See, he lives in a garbage can? No. How come I remember that? It was Popeye the Sailor Man. Lives in a garbage can. Eats all your spinach or something, something, something. I'm gonna have to look this up, guys. I can't remember. Popeye song. Maybe that was like the kid joke song. Let's see. Theme song with lyrics. Let's take a look here. Popeye the Sailor Man. I'm strong to the finish because I eats me spinach. I'm Popeye the Sailor Man. Why did I think he lived in a garbage can? I don't know where I got that out of. I'm one tough gazookus, which hates all the palookas. What ain't on the up and square? I biff some buff some, always rough some, and I never get some. Anyways, we're not gonna do this. I'm sorry, guys. This is a waste of time. Let me know where I heard the garbage can thing. That must be from my childhood or something. Anyways, this Popeye pin uh, sold for how much? 590 plus shipping. Eh, 
All right, third battery. Hey, this one looks like it's fully charged. Ha <laughs> ha, that'll probably be the last time I change them. Yeah, so I think, what was I talking about? My batteries keep dying, it's throwing me off. I was talking about the fact that we had listed a bunch. So we listed 80, so we have a bunch of sales. Uh, we should be able to get, them pre get through them pretty quick. But not only that, when I got home from yard selling yesterday, I came into the garage and Tina was cleaning. Tina just every now and then gets into it. Like I didn't ask her to clean. I didn't say, hey, if you have time, can you clean? She just got sick of my mess. Let's be real. And she just came out and cleaned on her own free will, which obviously she does everything on her free will. <laughs> that sounds bad. <laughs> uh, anyway, so thank you, Tina. She came out here. Wh who is this supposed to be? Wonder Woman? Blind. Justice League. I don't know, it looks kind of like Wonder Woman. But yeah, so she, she just started cleaning out here. I came home and she was cleaning and I was like, okay, cool. And I went in, I unloaded and I started listing everything while she finished cleaning. And I think this was sold, Supergirl. Yeah, Supergirl, Justice League, six inch chibi collection, sold for $8.55 plus shipping. And uh, that actually was given to me by AM Pickers. So thank you, AM Pickers, I appreciate it. So one of the things I had gotten, now I didn't hit my goal of listing everything. So one of the things I got was a huge collection of posters. Not huge, huge, but like, you know, 37 posters. You know, you got this heavyweights one, if you remember that movie. I gotta list that one. Um, I did list some of them. They're just annoying to list. And so I've got, these are my listed posters here. How many did I do? One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I don't know if I counted that right. But yeah, so look how clean it is in here. That was Tina's doing. I definitely appreciate that. I actually can get to this. I need to list these cups. These will sell if I just list them. I've got like 20 of them. Um, but yeah, so it looks good in here. But she was being very productive. And I was trying to be, match her productivity, but I was so tired. Oh, I sold the poster. That's why I'm over here. I was so tired because I had gotten up so early and I hadn't really slept good that... Um, is this it? This doesn't seem like it. Fear your... Accept... Trust... Hold on, I'll put this down because I gotta look at these. This one is... Oh, Lord of Illusion by Clive Barker. That is not the one that sold. What is this one? Oh, this one's really cool. This one's Cutthroat Island. They're not in amazing condition, but they were cool enough, like movies and stuff, that I couldn't resist. I'm just trying to find the one that sold, because I did sell one, which was also a great movie. That's not it. That's uh, Waterworld. Remember Waterworld? Everyone hated that, but me and my brother watched it all the time. This might be it. Ah, they're dropping. Dang it. Now they're in worse condition. Yeah. Okay, you remember this movie? Hackers with Angelina Jolie. Who's the guy in it? Um, Johnny Lee Miller. I don't even remember him. Angelina Jolie was the star of that one. Anyways, I sold this poster. It's like a... And none of these posters are worth much, I'll tell you. I was under this false impression that, like, these posters would be really good because they were things that made me happy <laughs> as a kid. But at the end of the day, they just weren't worth much. And I do have boxes. I have these boxes that I ordered right here. And uh, I've got a bunch of them somewhere. I just gotta find them. Oh, right here. I'm gonna put them here. So I've got all these, so they'll be easy to ship. I didn't order them for that case. I ordered them for when I do eventually list and sell golf clubs. It'll be nice to have a box I can put a golf club in. So that's why I bought those. Got them on eBay. I could try to put a link, if I remember, down below um, to where I bought them. They weren't that expensive, but they weren't that cheap either. Anyways, the poster sold for $6.50 plus shipping. So I don't really... Oh, here's the fries. Is this Laura? This is Laura. Okay, I found them. Hold on, let me grab them. So Laura bought a lot of two french fries. Again, McDonald's Transformers. I'll show you these ones. The lot of two sold for $9.30. So we'll pack them together and do a little partial refund on the shipping. So it does that, and then the legs come down like that. So turn it... Ah! Hey, if you ever want to buy something that's going to get dropped on the floor, guys, check out my eBay store. <laughs> I drop everything. Ah, oh, boy. And then I sold something out of FL69. I can't, I just totally lost my train of thought. I'm sorry. Posters, we were talking about posters, and then what happened? <laughs> I dropped a McDonald's toy, talked about hackers. Wasn't worth much money. Anyways, I got a bunch of them. I'll make a profit. I'm not in the profit yet. It's going to take a couple sales, and I got to list some more. But I will get there eventually in the end. Just gotta get them listed. Uh, as far as, this doesn't seem promising. Oh, here it is. As far as like quality of listings yesterday, pretty good. A lot of them were like $20 plus the listings we did. So, you know, it's better than a lot of $5 listings. 
but right now we do have a lot of five dollar sales you know because you don't sell exactly what you list so i sold this for 9.99 this is a toy poodle plush animal uh from nintendogs remember the here i'll show you the video game nintendogs this was like one of their i don't know swags they sold maybe it came in a bundle uh, i sold that for 10 bucks plus shipping but yeah, other than the posters, I almost did get everything. Oh wait, okay, so wait, let's go all the way back. I was talking about how I was watching Men in Black. <laughs> I'm all over the place today. Uh, basically, I was listing, and I said, you know what, my back kind of hurts, because I was sitting at like the kitchen table on these kind of lame chairs, and I was like, I'm gonna go list in the uh, living room and put a movie on in there, you know, and yeah, you know, just because I was uncomfortable. So I said, I'm gonna go list out there. And Tina's like, okay, and so I went, you know, into the living room and sit on the couch and I bring my little light box, my photo box, and I'm taking pictures of Tootsie Toys. Tootsie Toys are like these little cars. I'll show you an example actually, because I'm right near these little cars. They're not worth a ton, but they can sell. It's one of those things I have the bad habit of buying that I should really stop buying. Uh, I've got a ladder here over my shoulder. And the reason I say that is because like, the vast majority of them are worth like three to five dollars. You know, so my brain, my flipping brain is always like, oh, if I can get 30 of these for 10 bucks and sell them for three bucks a piece, I'm gonna make $90, right? Like I always have that sort of nonsense in my brain. And uh, while that's true, I always like don't factor in all the work and the time and things like that. And yes, it's still, you know, worthwhile if you have lots of spare time, but I don't have lots of spare time. So I need to get out of that habit. Anyways, all that to say, I was listing those Tootsie Toys and I sold Winnie the Pooh in a bear costume. And it was like the lowest stuff I was listing all day as far as value. I had been used to listing like 20 to $40 items and then I was like, oh, I'm listing these $5 cars and they're hard to look up. So I'm gonna go sit on the couch and do it. And while, oh wait, what did that? That Winnie the Pooh sold for $9. I can't remember if I told you that. And so I'm, you know, watching Men in Black listing these stupid cars. They take forever to, lo to look up. And as I'm sitting there watching Men in Black doing this, you know, I do the old man thing and I fall asleep, which is so incredibly rare for the NC picker guys. So rare. I hardly ever, ever nap, but I think my body just gave up. Like getting up at 4 a.m., going to bed late. I just couldn't, couldn't stay up anymore. So that was the first occurrence of Men in Black 1. And you know, I kind of missed like 10 minutes, but I didn't go back and watch it. It's not that good of a movie that I'm actually going to go back and finish it. I uh, sold this. This is a cake pan from Nordicware, I think. Nordicware. Not very valuable. I paid five, sold it for maybe 10. It's kind of a bad flip, I'll be honest, because it's be hard to ship too. Maybe not. 12 by 12 by 8. Yeah, I only sold it for eight bucks, so almost breaking even. Just a bad buy. These nachos are sitting heavy, guys. Whew. Just walking around and talking is hard with this many nachos crammed up in here in the gullet. The old gullet. Okay, so Disney pin. This one is Pirates of the Caribbean. I think it opens. Hold on. Yeah, so this one here. Pirates of the Caribbean. And it like has uh, articulation on it. And I sold this for less than 10 Probably 5 bucks. $4.49 plus shipping. What's it say? It says Master Star Reader. I don't know. So this person bought two pins. And so someone messaged me. I was on Whatnot. And Floridian Flipper on Whatnot. I've met him at the flea market a few times, things like that. He sells almost exclusively Disney pins. And I told him I got a bunch of Disney pins. And he said, okay, just be careful. Watch out for scrappers and fakes. So I thought, hey, this is interesting. I don't know what that means, but I should learn it so I can tell other people about it. Ah, uh, yeah. And this one is Can You Feel the Love Tonight? Which we sing this a lot in my house, me and my family. We always get it stuck in our heads. I, I sing the Simba part, it's really beautiful. That one sold for $4.49 as well. So five bucks a piece. So anyways, you know, and I told the guy, he said, you gotta be careful with Disney pins, make sure you're buying them from a reputable buyer. Now, the person I bought them from was a Disney employee. And so I felt pretty good about it. She bought most of them right at Disney and things like that. You guys saw the video, it seemed legit to me. Um, so I think we're okay but I'm still not 100% sure. The ones I look at certainly feel real to me based on what he was telling me. But I guess more so it's just like a, a warning if you're gonna buy Disney pins, try to figure out where they bought them, try to get an idea of the person, you know, see if they might be a scammer, I don't know. But her as an actual Disney employee, she had her like Disney lanyard and all that stuff and she was trading for the park and for herself. So I felt pretty good about hers. And honestly, when he described scrappers, so what he said scrappers are is they're 
made by Disney on the line and they decide they don't want to release them because they're not perfect enough. So basically just Disney pins, like literally they're still Disney pins, but I guess they didn't officially release them. Now how they get onto the market is the question I have. Like maybe some unemployed just grabs them and sells them all uh, instead of throwing them out. I'm not really sure. So that's scrappers he said. And then oh, I think he said something about there has to be like the, the little nubbins next to the pin, which this has, so I don't know. Oh, it says the waffling should not stop at the edge of the pin, meaning it should like, you know, the Mickeys will be cut off and they are cut off. So that's good. Like the Mickeys get cut off on the end. Hold on, let me get my head out of it. See how it's like only half a Mickey there? So that seems good. Most pins should have two nubs, but not all, depending on the age. Color should be vibrant. Color is definitely vibrant on this one. Anyways, yeah, based on that, I think this one's real. So I, you know. Luckily, the ones I'm buying are not like high value, so I don't know if anyone would actually copy them because if you're going to copy and fraud some, you'd probably fraud high dollar ones, not all these $5 ones I'm selling. Uh, but maybe. I know any 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 industry, even knives, someone was telling me knives um, are often copied. So it's really interesting that people are just copying and ripping stuff off. I totally feel like at the flea market I could buy some fake pins. That's that's where I feel like I'd get fake pins. Oh, speaking of the flea market though, this next item I got at the flea market, it's an FL26. Tina just listed it. Sold fast, so probably for too cheap. I was gonna tell her 15. Yeah, she listed it for 15. So that's what I would have listed at too. Um, so I don't know, maybe I comped it wrong. Maybe we just sold it at the exact right moment, but this is a Kool-Aid tin. Got it at the flea market for a dollar and it's just vintage. I don't know how old it is. Doesn't really say a date on it. Just the old Kool-Aid tin. Um, the comps seem to be at $15. What did I set off? It's like making a noise. Something here. I also sold this. There's a Batman helmet, like, um, what is it? Like a bucket, like a toy bucket, candy bucket. I was actually gonna keep this. Uh, well, I was thinking about keeping it because I saw it wasn't worth very much, but Tina listed it. And you know, I can't really argue because I really have too much stuff. So if she lists something, I certainly don't unlist it. Uh, I just, you know, let it sell. That sold for $13.29. That's actually better than I thought. For some reason, I thought it was only worth like eight. Oh, I was talking about the nachos. Yeah. So those nachos are really good. And I made them again, and they're still really good. So FL84, someone just sent me a negative message. How rude on Instagram. And that happens sometimes. You have to let it roll off your back. But, uh, you know, you get these little notifications, right? Your phone reminds you, hey, someone said something to you. And you look at it like, oh, that's just completely negative. That's cool. Uh, Scooby-Dooby-Doo, where are you? Uh, seven, hold on, I think it's seven DVDs of Scooby sold. Four, five, six, seven. There we go. All right, so this is a seven lot DVD of Scooby. I buy Scooby usually if I can, especially if I can get a bunch of them because they do sell in lots. And so there's a lot of seven movies sold for $14.50. I probably paid 30 cents a piece for him, 50 cents a piece. I don't think I paid a dollar a piece. So 14.50 plus shipping. Jared Dolan messaged on the last video and said, quit your job. <laughs> ah, Jared, you know, maybe one day. FL30, a lot of people ask me about my job. They ask me about my day job, what I do, what kind of work I do. And I've answered it a few times, but I think new people come along and they've, you know, never heard. It's not that exciting, but you know, especially since I was supposed to go to Amsterdam and that fell through. Uh, basically, I work in like a product development uh, kind of a field where I help design products that are gonna come out, like electronic products. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's in the film industry. So, oh gosh, ladder death. Um, was this, uh, we sold the Super Bowl thing. This kind of looks like it, All right? Official Super, Gale, Super Bowl program. I don't know if that's it. Hold on. There's one more I have here. And it's a fun job, but it's also not a fun job. You know, it's, it's not my passion. I've worked there for a very long time. Basically when the company was founded, I was like the 10th employee. I think this is what sold. Yeah, this is 1982, uh, 82, <laughs> uh, Super Bowl XXV is at 25 in 1982. This is a program that you could buy while you were at the uh, game, the Bills versus the Redskins. Sold that for 10 bucks plus shipping. So yeah, I mean, just at the end of the day, it's a job. Uh, I do it to my the best of my abilities. I put a lot of effort into it. Will I ever quit? Maybe, maybe one day. Um, it has to make sense financially. The, the thing that becomes a problem, and you guys know this, right? Like if you're reselling as a side hustle or 
whatever it is, I'm sure everyone who's done this has said, you know, I wonder if I could do this as my full-time job. And I think the problem always comes, especially if you're cautious like me, and I'm pretty cautious, in this whole idea of like being uncertain what scaling would look like for you. Like if I was to all of a sudden have way more time to list, way more time to source, way more time to be organized, how much would that increase my revenue, right? Like how much more money would I make? Would I make enough to, you know, pay my mortgage and pay my electric bill and do all this other stuff? Or would I be struggling and super stressed and, you know, trying to find a second job, like a uh, beyond the reselling where I'm doing, hey, wait, I thought I didn't sell, I thought I sold this. Oh, I, maybe I have to pull it in a minute. I'm looking through pins again. Um, so there's this fear, I would say. There's definitely a fear and I think it's a little bit harder if you're supporting a family. I know there's people out there that are watching this that have a family to support and they're struggling. And trust me, I know, like it's it's super stressful and you wanna be able to provide. And there's a security in like a paycheck, right? From a company that's a, a big company that has lots of money, can survive through recessions, things like that. You know, it, there is some peace of mind that has value of saying, oh, I've got my day job at least, you know, I know I'm gonna have that. If people stop buying on eBay, if I get banned on eBay, I've still got my day job. There is like a real sense of peace about that. I'm having trouble finding a pin, if you couldn't tell. I know the noise is annoying, I'm sorry. <sighs> this is frustrating me. Oh, yeah, I mean, I know a bunch of people told me to get a cork board or foam and do something about these pins, so it wouldn't be a nightmare to pull them, but I haven't done it yet. That is the one thing I have not done yet, and I really need to, because this is fresh. Oh, I found it. Oh, thank goodness. I mean, these all hit the prerequisites as well of having, you know, the unit. Anyways, so these are two more pins that sold. Uh, the order was $12. Oops, dropping it on the floor. The order was $12, two pins, this uh, nesting doll and these monkeys. So what are they from? So the monkeys are from Moana and the nesting dolls is from Mary Poppins. Five, six bucks a piece on those. I mean, you know, I'm making money on YouTube too. So it's possible that there could be a day where I get there to the point where I could leave my job, but I'm not there yet. Um, and I'd have to figure out how I'd want to do it. Like, would my job let me work part time? Would, you know, there's all these questions I have. I'm not really sure yet what I'd do. Um, I think it's something we'll talk about more in the future if it can become a reality, so. There's definitely, all that was to respond to that one comment of someone telling me to quit my job. <laughs> probably because I was complaining that I didn't have enough time. And so I probably shouldn't complain because if I really want more time, really there's no benefit in ever complaining. I'll be honest with you. It doesn't really do anything. 